Live from the internet, it's the Dr. Tom the Frog Show! Hi-ho, this is Dr. Tom the Frog, and you're watching the Dr. Tom the Frog Show, where we talk about role-playing games! I am super excited tonight because we have on a very special guest. We have on the, the noted blogger, Lizzie Stark. How are you doing, Lizzie? I'm doing great, Dr. Tom. Great to be here with you. I understand that you're originally from a place called Mundania, and you decided to leave it. What state's that in? It's in Kansas. So, so yeah. what's, why, why do you write about leaving Kansas? What's the big deal? Why do I write about leaving Kansas? Well, um, uh, you know, like uh, Dorothy, I wanted to go to a place that was more colorful than just re the regular old world. Uh, and so I decided to uh, try out LARP. Um, and so for my first book, I uh, interviewed a ton of LARPers. I learned about the world of LARP. Uh, I went to places as far afield as Copenhagen and Trevance. Um, and I learned what it means to uh, physically embody a character. Physically embody a character? Does that like uh, like like uh, oh when Han sliced open the uh, the little monster on Hoth and, and stuck Luke inside? Is that that what you mean? Yeah, kind of like that, but just uh, metaphorical. Uh, you know, uh, it's it's like uh, it's like playing a role playing game, but instead of saying what your character does, you actually do it. You stand up and do it, and maybe you get to wear a really awesome costume when you do. A anyways, you know. I gotta tell you, sometimes it feels like a miracle that we ever managed to release an episode of this show. Speaking of bad segues, tell me about your game, The Miracle. Sure. Uh, this Miracle is a game that I co-wrote with uh, Nicholas Fortuno, who's um, an awesome game designer. Uh, and um, it's a game about a religion. Uh, we didn't see we didn't see that religion had been. Um, seriously addressed in uh, a lot of uh, games, in a lot of uh, LARPs uh, specifically, and so we wanted to make a game that uh, addressed that topic head-on. Um, in this freeform, you uh, spend the first half of the game as a group co-creating some myths. We have some sheets with, you know, some mythic elements on them. And you tell a round robin story to create some myths, and then you make physical artifacts out of the myths, uh, you know, giving your character's perspective on them, basically. Um, so, you know, you craft with pipe cleaners and stuff. It sounds a bit silly, but it, it's really fun. Um, and then you swap your artifacts and your story with another group, and you... Uh, create a ritual based on the other group, another group's story. Um, so that's Act 1. In Act 1, you're making myths and artifacts and rituals. Uh, and then in Act 2, you play pilgrims going on a pilgrimage. And along the pilgrimage, they're going to do the rituals that you created in Act 1. Uh, so you're sort of dealing with your own character's uh, dilemma and hopefully coming to some conclusion after performing the rituals. Um, and so, yeah, so we just released it uh, yesterday. We made it for this Danish convention called Festival. Um, and uh, so some people have played it there. Some people play tested it uh, in, at Dream Nation and in Austin, Texas, uh, and play stormed it in New Jersey. So, um, yeah, so we're happy to have it, uh, have it out and have it uh, uh, living its own life in the world. That's pretty cool, and that, and that's on your your leaving Mundania blog, right? Yes, uh, that's on my blog, leaving Mundania, which is um, same title as my book, uh, and I've been blogging there. Um, I I've been blogging for about four years, uh, and I look at topics in LARP and role play, sort of anything that catches my fancy. Um, I've been writing about uh, game design, some of my thoughts on game design, trying to sort of steal some theory from um, uh, fiction writing and to see how that applies. Uh, I also uh, have some free games available for free download. Um, I look a little bit at some social justice -y type stuff. I'm kind of intrigued by that. Um, and, uh, you know, there are a few other odds and ends. I like to try to explain other people's LARP theory in a way 
that uh, the average person off the street, I hope, can understand it. Um, so definitions of terms that many people find confusing, like Nordic LARP or American Freeform or Jeep form, uh, GNS theory, I try to explain that uh, on the site. Um, and uh, recently, I've decided to take uh, guest posts. Um, so people can uh, write in and pitch me. Um, and then they will get uh, editing and uh, real, real world money um, if we uh, end up being able to work together. Talking about <laughs> Fast Evil, I heard that you were nominated for a Lifetime Achievement Award. Does that make you feel old? Well, Fast Evil is this uh, Danish uh, role playing convention, and this year I got nominated for an uh, honorary auto, which was a, a huge honor. Um, there were many other awesome, awesome people nominated, like the guy who runs this brilliant board gaming cafe in the middle of Copenhagen, and the king of Danish kids LARP, and um, uh, many other people, uh, only some of whom I could read about because they were uh, they were described in, in Danish, and, and Google Translate sometimes, it seemed like maybe there was a car, maybe it was like the fire marshals who were, who were nominated, but um, yeah, it was a great honor, and it does make me feel a, a uh, I don't know, no, I'm not old, but I feel like I'm too young. <laughs> I feel like I'm too young. I've only, I haven't been on the scene that long. Only uh, maybe like four or five years. So uh, that it was, it was incredibly kind of them. Yeah, you, you should be careful because you, you rise too fast to be like Drew Barrymore or what's the girl from Mean Girls? What's her name? Oh, yeah, Lindsay Lohan. You know, if I could be any figure in the LARP community, I think I would want to be the Lindsay Lohan of uh, LARP. Just oh, wear giant sunglasses all the time. That's pretty interesting. i got to say, you would, you would make all of the Danish paper uh, tabloids about LARP, I would think. I could uh, get up and dance on tables in my, you know, my full medieval uh, uh, outfit. That's, that's scandalous. That's, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, that's, that's pretty cool. Okay, enough enough dancing on tables. Right, I've got a serious question for you, Lizzie. Are you ready for my serious question? I'm so super ready. Okay, all right. If you, Lizzie, were to cosplay as any historical figure, who would it be? I was actually thinking about cosplaying um, as Mary Claire King, except I don't think anybody would get it. Uh, she is a really um, badass lady scientist and uh, biologist um, who's done amazing stuff, like uh, she um, discovered that human and chimp DNA are 99% identical. I don't know about amphibian DNA, but human and chimp DNA. And she also... Um, developed a method for mitochondrial DNA sequencing, which allowed Argentinian grandmothers to be reunited with uh, their grandchildren disappeared during the Dirty War. And her lab for a little while was the forensic lab for the UN War Crimes Tribunal because of that. And then she discovered um, uh, the sort of general location of the first breast cancer gene. And now she's working on schizophrenia and inherited deafness. Um, and I have a lady crush on her, and she has great hair. She was, uh, she has great hair. Yeah. So. Okay. Get get the good hair. Is it, so it's noticeable. The people in the know will totally get it. Well, yes, the people in the know will totally get it. Although you know, once I was at Gen Con and somebody asked me, I was just dressed like I normally dress, and somebody asked me who I was cosplaying as, so maybe I'm just cosplaying as myself right. all the time. I think you blew my mind. Yeah. Who would you cosplay as? Um, well, Kermit. That's, that's a given, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's kind of easy, but then again, it's not so easy. He's a little more mobile than I am. He, he works out. He does yeah. yoga. He's, he's a great guy. Lizzie, thank you so much for coming on the Dr. Tom the Frog Show. It was such a pleasure having you on. It's such a pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me. You just watched the Dr. Tom the Frog Show, and we hope that you liked what you saw, yo. 
But if it was a big waste of your time, well, it's free, so that's not a crime. But if it was a waste of your time, yes, it's free, so that's not a crime.